Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mileni, and I'm a PhD student at ESALC. Today, I would like to show you the agriculture impact on the environment and how I intend to eliminate the use of insecticides in soybean crops for stink bug control. So it will be a different show, like a Silvio Santos show. I need your participation, okay? Let's see what you can do here. So before I start, I have three wishes today. First, I wish you don't sleep during my presentation. If you want to do this next time, I can give you a good tip here. Look at this beautiful haircut. You can do this next time for future presentations, right? It will be beautiful. Second wish, I would like to know who here is addicted to cell phone, who cannot live without your cell phone. Don't be shy, just raise your hand. I can give you some gifts. Oh, look at the different gifts. Okay, who here cannot live without your cell phone? Just raise your hand, please. Do you wanna, do you wanna have some chocolate? Oh, perfect. Oh, great. Amazing. So you can help me and I can give you some chocolate. Perfect? Okay. Don't use your cell phone during my presentation. Keep your hands in the chocolate, okay? Perfect. Have you ever been doing this situation? I wish you never made the mistake changing the toilet paper by the cell phone. Oh, I, I don't want to think about this. Okay. Third wish. I wish you have a lot of fun today because this is why we are here. So this was just to warm up. Let's start talking about something interesting, right? I decided to do my research in soybean because it has a great importance for the world. Who knows the soybean world's production? Please give me a number between 100 and 1,000. Give me a number. Five, yes, perfect. 5,000 billion to million tons of the grain. So this is not working very well. Let's see. I don't want to throw everything. Perfect. So, and Brazil is the second producer. Who knows the Brazilian soybean production? Give me a number between, I don't remember, let's see, 10 and 100. 80, 80, did I hear 80? Oh, perfect. You were listening to my last presentation, right? Perfect. So 81 million tons of the grain. And who is the first producer? Did I hear China? Someone said China? Oh, thanks God. No, who is the fourth producer? United States. Who said United States? I will have to give all my chocolates? No, just like two of them. Perfect. You don't want a chocolate? Really? Hold for me. <laughs> okay, so United States is the first producer, but let's talk a little bit about the Americans' favorite food. Did anyone here have been in U.S. before? Oh, you had been there. So were you invited for an American breakfast like this with a beautiful pancake tower with a lot of maple syrup? It's delicious, right? I forgot to add some blueberries. Now you can say it's a healthy breakfast, right? What else do they like to eat for breakfast? E perfect. Egg, sausage, a lot of bacon, very healthy, right? Or you can combine everything like here. Perfect. And I was thinking, what do they have for lunch? They gave me two options. Hamburgers, perfect. And pizza. Okay, I think you need more chocolate, right? You want a chocolate? Okay. <gasps> I'm sorry. Now you have a chocolate. And who, who else? Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, I'm sorry. You can have one more. <laughs> perfect. So, what, where are the soybean on that plate? I didn't find any soybean there. Why do they produce a lot of soybeans? So do you know any of the soybean products? Just let me know. Yeah, but I thought you were thinking about Japanese food, like soy sauce, tofu, and soy milk, but it's okay, oil. Did you see the importance of the soybean in our life? Okay, but I will show here that all you need soybean products to live. Soybean has a great source of high quality protein. It's also very important for biofuel production. So everyone here is convinced that soybean is important? 
Look at here. I won't read all this here, but you can see the, that uh, soybean has a large use in food and chemical industry, right? Did I convince you? Okay, yeah? Perfect. Now I need to convince you why I am studying soybean resistant to stink bugs. What is a stink bug? Do you know what is a stink bug? Have you heard about Maria Fijida? Oh, perfect. I have here some pheromone that I isolate from Maria Fedida. You want to try some? Oh, look at here. Oh, I'm sorry. You'll be smelling good for all night. But it's okay. I can give you one more chocolate. Okay, perfect. And now, oh, where is the pointer? Sorry. Do you know why do they call Maria Fedida? Because it was a man who gave the name. For me, I will call Jose Fedido and Maria Fedida, right? I feel better like this. Okay, perfect. These are the major pests in soybean crops all around the world, like United States, Brazil, Argentina, Bolivia, Paraguay. It's not here, it's not only here. And look at the damage that they cause. They look like killed, but they are not. Look at here. They damage this, oh, sorry, the soybean seeds and they reduce drastically soybean yield and production. So what do the, does the producer do? He uses a great amount of insecticides in all his crops to exterminate the soybeans, the stink bug and the soybean. So do you have an idea in the amount of insecticides used in a year? Just give me a number between 100 and 200. Uh, and between 100 and 200? 140? Did I hear? Perfect. Okay. I can give you more chocolate layers, sorry. It's 140,000 tons of insecticides that were used in 2010. It's a lot, right? So here, the contamination caused by them includes the soil, the water, the food, my friends that were here, that were contaminated just right now. And can you imagine the, the everything that they do for the environment and the man? It's terrible, right? So think about the great amount of water. No, I, I won't spray anymore. I'm done with this, okay? But they use like 7% of the water used in the world is for agriculture. If you think about the soybean, the Brazilian soybean area, only to spray twice for stink bug control, it was necessary more than 8 billion liters of water. Are you angry with me because a little few drop of water? No, right? Think about these 8 billion liters of water. Okay. So, but we have all this problem and the population is growing. What are we gonna do? The population will reach more than 9 billion people by 2050. Like Thomas Malthus exactly predicted in, 19, in 1798. But I'm glad that he didn't know anything about crop breeding. He didn't know we could improve the crop's production and crop yield. Oh, thanks God. And who are going to save us? If your answer was this, you are watching too much TV, right? I decided to save us. So think about an alternative. We can use these electric uh, rackets to kill some insects. We will have like Olympic Games in soybean crops. It's not a good idea, right? It won't work. OK, look at this panic face. No, they will not be killed. OK, what is the solution? We are studying and identifying genes associated to soybean resistance to stink bugs. So we can select only the plants that are resistant. And bingo, we can sell the seeds for farmers that are resistant. They don't need to use more insecticides. So the results of these studies include economical, environmental, and social benefits. Beautiful. And we'll have food saved with no insecticides. We'll reduce the use of water and increase soybean yield and production with no additional costs for farmers. So do you still have a little time? I need to give more chocolates. OK, I can do it later. So I would like to thank my advisor and the research group and all the funding agencies that are supporting this project and help us 
keep doing everything you like, keep eating like chocolate with soybeans, and everything is fine. Thank you. Have chocolate. <laughs>